everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday. I'm going to do another weekend vlog. Now, the reason why I'm starting on Thursday is because I'm not going to uni today. Um, I wasn't really very well in the night. I had like a like a really bad tummy ache. Um, and I also need to make my aunt, my auntie's birthday cake for her party tomorrow. Oh no, for her party on Saturday. Um, so I'm going to go to the shop and get the ingredients to make that. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do a little weekend vlog. Um, tomorrow is my dad's birthday. And then we're going for a meal in the evening to the fire station, which is where I went for my birthday with my sister. Um, and on Saturday, it's my auntie's party, so that's what I'm making the cake for. Um, and on Sunday, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, my mum... Oh, I don't know. I'm not too sure where mum's putting the Christmas tree up. But if you see my latest video, then you'll know that... Um, oh, look at Milo in the background. He looks like a sausage. Well, your ears flopped. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, um, I have my Christmas tree up. Oh, that's not very good lighting. Um, I put it up um, on Monday, I think. I was just feeling really festive. Um, and yeah, I decided to put it up and I'm really happy with how it looks. I think it looks so cute. I got the tree from B&M last year and it was only £12 and it's a six, six foot tree, so like a little bit taller than me. Um, and a lot of my baubles are actually from uh, B&M as well. This little one is from the range, but do you know what, I'm not going to ramble because um, I literally have a whole video on my Christmas tree. So, yeah, doesn't it look cute? Oh, let me actually put the lights on. <laughs> oh, I love it. And it just goes so well in my bedroom. Like, and I got some little bags under there. They don't act, well, not all of them have presents in, but um, I actually did get... Something from Molten Brown for my dad for his birthday. Shall I show? Well, I can't really show you what I got because it's actually gift wrapped. But I'll show you the cute little box inside. So I actually got him uh, a body wash because he literally loves body wash. Um, he really likes the Soap and Glory women's uh, body wash. But I thought it would be nice to get him one from here so it's in this really cute little box literally how cute is this they well sam's mum actually works is the manager at molten brown so she kindly gift wrapped it for me and made it look very beautiful but yeah doesn't it look cute and um i got him the black peppercorn body wash i think because he really likes that one yeah it just comes in lovely packaging and I'm very excited for him to open it. Okay, that's dad's present I'm going to give him tomorrow. Um, I've just done my makeup. Just very simple as per usual. I've got hair in my mouth. Um, and I'm going to find something to wear. It's literally one degree outside today, like what the holy hell. Don't know if you can see but there is ice. Frost, that's it. Uh, find something to wear that's warm because it's literally one degree, which I actually really like. Um, but the other day it was like 15 degrees and now it's one degree, so I'm a bit, my body's just a bit confused. Um, and as you can see, the majority of my wardrobe is skirts. So I've gone for quite a simple outfit today because. I just can't really be bothered. Um, I've got on this top, which is from Primark, because uh, it's a little bit see-through, but my hair or a scarf usually covers my uh, 
bra. Um, and I've got this skirt on, which is from River Island. And this belt, which is from Primark. Um, I won't lie, it's not the best of quality. Like, it's left this funny mark here. And I've had to stab, like, two new holes in it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, very, like, simple. And then I've just got my slippers on as well. I just also wanted to really quickly show you these things that... These little um, jewellery bits that I got sent from Jewellery Box. Now, I've had a couple of... Um, pieces from here before that I really like and I literally wear all the time I have let's get my little tray so this little bracelet here is actually from their website and if you know me you'll know how much I love these pulley um, will it focus these like pulley tie bracelets I just think they look so pretty and I'm pretty sure this uh, was only like eight pounds or something like that um what else did I have from there also had these cute little will it focus these little studs which are also rose gold and they're like a kind of twisted knot um and I just love their website and they asked if I wanted to choose some things so I thought I'd show you them they also come in like the cutest little box so these are literally like perfect for Christmas presents because you don't even have to wrap them so if I try and get and then in this little sleeve if you will um, it comes with a little box and then you just take the so these are the pieces that I got sent as you can see I kind of went for like a completely different um color but I basically saw this ring and thought it was literally so pretty and it looked really nice on the um model's hand on the website but it's like crossed over and I just thought it was so pretty and the diamonds in it I know they're obviously not real but they just look so sparkly and I actually cannot remember how much this one was but it's just beautiful and so so pretty so I have really like long skinny fingers but it just looks so pretty I know this is my um engagement ring hand but I mean it kind of got stuck on this one yesterday but it just looks so cute I then also chose this little neck oh gosh this little necklace and it basically is a really like thin silver chain and then has this really cute little C on it and then it has like a little diamond just at the bottom of the C as well and it it's just so pretty and I can't wait to wear this because I love cute little dainty necklaces um, and then the final thing they sent me was this which is the cutest bracelet ever Unfortunately, it's a little bit big for me. Um, I have abnormally small wrists. So, like, I don't know if you can see, but it is pretty big. Like, it's probably not going to fall off and it will be okay. But I just don't know if I can have a bracelet that big on my wrist. But these, I've seen some bracelets like this before. I can't remember what the name of the brand is, but... I think this one was around like £10, maybe a little bit more, but it's honestly so pretty and the quality of their silver is just so good, like, look how shiny this is. They are, they're the things that, I, things that they really kindly sent over. I think I'm going to wear this little necklace today, you know. Um, I want to say thank you so much to Jewellery Box because they literally have the most amazing jewellery for, like, such good prices like jewelry can be so expensive if you're looking for like christmas presents then this website is literally amazing okay so this is my outfit for the day i have on my coat from river island because it's freezing um this top from primark um my little c necklace from um, accessorize um and then this river island skirt with this primark pink belt and then just my boots from 
new look which are ankle boots but you can't really see very well um, and then this top uh, this bag from Topshop however um, the handles come off because it was kind of hanging off and it was being a proper nuisance so I thought you know what I'm just gonna rip it off and then hopefully stick it back on at some point but yeah that's my outfit I mean it's probably a bit too much just to go to the shop but it's freezing so <laughs> so I decided to go with uh, this bag instead because I just feel like the other one didn't really go very well um, but I'm gonna go off to the shop now it's 5 to 11 I still haven't had breakfast because I I'm not really that well actually I'm starving but I just don't really want to eat something and then go out and then my tummy just be funny so um yeah I'm gonna go to the shop and get all the stuff for um my auntie's birthday I don't know whether to I'm probably not going to take the camera because let's be real I'm not confident enough to whack out my camera in the middle of hobby craft I'm just going to put it out there okay oh <clears throat> I'm back from the shops if you can hear this funny blowy noise it's because I've got the heater on because it's freezing as I've said about 20,000 times in this video and also why do I look like my face is really flat um so I'm going to put you in the cupboard so I can show you basically how I make my cakes so okay I'm sorry that my head's kind of cut out it's either you see my head or you see how I make my cake so I thought you'd probably rather see how I make cakes don't be so silly no oh, he's a baby does he want to do the cooking too okay so the first thing that I do is I weigh my eggs now I think I'm gonna have to use like 10 eggs because I'm making such a big cake. Should I sit on a chair? Then I'm like. Oh. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I weigh my eggs. Now, I like to use free range eggs just, you know, because like I'd rather the uh, chicken be happy, you know what I mean? Um, I've got these tiny little weighing scales, I won't lie, they're pretty useless because they're so small so I have to kind of weigh everything in two goes um, but we've got another set of scales on the wall but they just don't work so um, I'm going to use 10 eggs now, that is a lot of freaking eggs but um, basically last time I made my friend's cake it was too little when I used eight eggs, so I used ten. No, so five eggs weigh 300 grams, so I'm going to need 600 grams of everything basically. So once I've weighed my eggs, I just pop them back in here because I don't need them just yet. And then, oh. And then I start with my butter, so I use this stalk butter. And basically, I'll bring this here, I basically just weigh the same amount of butter that the eggs weigh, so I need 600 grams of butter basically. This is going to be so much butter, it's actually not even okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the, the microwave for about maybe 20 seconds just so it melts and it makes it easier for me to mix it because there's so much in there. Also whilst I'm at it I'm just going to preheat the oven. We have a gas oven so I usually put my cakes around like 5, um, gas mat 5. So whilst that's in the microwave I'm just going to weigh out my sugar. So the sugar is the next thing that I do. I basically cream the butter and the sugar together so I do tend to use caster sugar but if we don't have any then I will just use um, granulated or whatever we've got in the house basically I've just got the um, butter out of the microwave I don't like to melt it fully but I like to make sure that it's easy for me to mix it round Milo! 
I'm just going to add in the sugar. I actually think I might need a bigger bowl. <laughs> So often there's curdles, which I, I literally have never made a cake and it not curdle. So if it does curdle, like you don't have to worry because, I mean, Mary Berry would probably tell you that it doesn't cook very well. Now I'm going to need about, I'm going to go with maybe like 400 grams of flour. So I'm not actually going to sieve my flour because I don't want the cake to be too like light and airy because it's going to obviously be like a two-tiered cake. So I'm just going to fold the flour in. I'll be quite careful because it's so full. Um, I'm also going to basically just chuck in the rest of this cocoa powder that I've got in here. Okay, so this is what the mixture looks like now. Um, I would recommend maybe sieving the cocoa powder because it's gone a bit lumpy but I'm hoping it's going to be okay but I'm basically just going to distribute these out into my cake cases I well I say cake cases these two tins basically I'm going to have about three or four of these um big ones and then about three of these ones so it's kind of going to look like this tall um, but I do have to cook them all separately because we got the two cases. What's that on my head? Cocoa powder, lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put them into the um, trays and then bake them for probably about 15 minutes. Hi everyone. So it's now Friday. I didn't really vlog much yesterday um, after I made my cake. Um, I just kind of let it cool and it's still cooling downstairs. Um, but yeah, it's now Friday the 23rd, it's my dad's birthday and I've just, well, I'm gonna go and give him his present in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to my sister's house because me and my two other sisters are gonna wrap um, my other sister's presents for her birthday. Then I need to ice the cake. I also need to pop around to the shops as well. I need to um, go to Next and also go to Hobbycraft to buy a cake box. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd show you my outfit because I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it could be a bit too cold to wear this, but I don't know, it's very comfy surprisingly. How do we like it? <laughs> Basically, I have this jumper on from Primark. Um, because I don't have like a really thin, um, tight pink top. This is the only one that I have and I feel like I really wanted to wear pink with this outfit otherwise I'd just look too black and white. Um, but I've got my little C necklace on and my watch again. And then this which is from Miss Selfridge. I look like Mrs Trunchbull right now because it's really not a good angle. That's better. <laughs> um, this is from Miss Selfridge. I did get it last year. But I don't know, I kind of like it and I haven't worn it yet. My mum bought it for me. She always tells me how much she thinks I should wear it. So I've got it on today with these boots. I don't know whether they need to, it would look better if they were higher up my leg. This coat, which is also from Miss Selfridge, just to make me a little bit more warm.
Hi everyone, so it's now Saturday. Um, I'm out of breath for running up the stairs. <laughs> um, basically, yesterday I forgot to take my camera to my dad's birthday meal. So I had to film on my phone. So I'm not too sure how good the quality is going to be because my phone's really rubbish at the minute. I really need to get a new one because the camera is just awful. But yeah, um, we went to the fire station again. I had steak and chips and then I shared hummus with my sister to start, which it was really nice. I literally love that place so much. Um, and then basically just came home and went to sleep because we were all really tired. Um, Sam is currently at the gym and then he's going to come and pick me up and we're going to go to my auntie's party. Um, I've met, oh I need to show you my cake. Um, I have posted a photo on Instagram so you may have already seen it on there but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, I bought some macarons um, from Iceland to go on the top and I think it turned out really well so um, I'll show you my cake. Um, I'm just currently catching up on I'm a Celebrity and then Sam's going to come and pick me up and then we're going to go to my auntie's and then we may go to see the Christmas lights being turned on um, which I really want to be able to go and do because I literally, that makes me feel so festive and yesterday I had the most festive day, I felt so Christmassy. Um, I'm currently just having breakfast. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry I didn't really vlog much yesterday to be honest um if i had took my camera i definitely would have but i just completely forgot i was in a bit of a rush um so yeah i hope you enjoy the vlog today um i think it's gonna be quite busy tomorrow's probably not gonna be as busy i think i'm gonna go to town and do some shopping with sam in the morning um but yeah uh, i hope you enjoy So I thought I'd share with you my outfit. Um, I'm wearing this jumper that I've had for a very long time. Um, it was from New Look. Um, and then my skirt is from Topshop. And then I got the, my knee-high boots on again, which are from H&M. And then my bag that's from Carvella by Kurt Geiger. And then my watch and uh, the earrings and stuff that I usually wear. So yeah, and also I can't remember if I mentioned, but I've got this new bracelet from Pandora and I can't remember if I've spoken about it in a video, but um, I got it because my auntie got me a voucher for my birthday. So I thought I'd treat myself to this bracelet, but I just absolutely loved it. I literally love these pulley bracelets. Um, but yeah, I think it's really pretty and I am literally just waiting for Sam. Oh, I need to show you the cake. That's what I need to do right now, otherwise I'm gonna forget. point of that ball is that you pour it in halfway and then you shake it about. Is that a Thanks. Aww. <laughs> Do you want some? No, I'm alright. Hi everyone. So it's now Sunday and um, yesterday I went to see the lights being switched on. Um, if you wondered what was going on. Um, but today me and Sam are gonna do some Christmas shopping um, and just kind of have like, I don't know, another like little Christmas. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> 